Meanwhile, investigators accused the former Top Pot chairman of fraud after his company misled consumers into thinking baked goods with artificial ingredients were all natural. They also suspect stock manipulation based on unusually abrupt changes in the share price of Top Pot's parent company. On the second day since its reopening, Top Pot Bakery sought to revitalize its tarnished brand. Behind the scenes, however, more trouble seemed to be brewing. The stock of its parent company, Genome International Biomedical, rose threefold in just six months. In January of last year, Jiang Li Fen, the wife of then Top Pot Chairman Xu Xuanping, restructured Genome International. Its share price was under 60 NT, but led by promotion of Top Pot by the entertainer Little S, the price rose to over 200 NT. A sharp decline that began in April of this year brought the price down to 88 NT. This is known as a backdoor listing. It's very common in capital markets. One party uses a listed company and adds its performance to the results, which can cause the share price to rise. Last week, Top Pot Bakery switched to a new chairman. Then a few days later, it was revealed that the company used artificial flavorings and breads touted as all natural. For the past three days in a row, Genome International share price has fallen, limit down. Today it dropped to 73 NT. Investigators suspect manipulation is taking place. If potential violations to the Securities and Exchange Act are uncovered, the Taipei District Prosecutor's Office may open a separate investigation, in addition to the fraud case already underway.